A giant Ohio online charter school known as ECOT closed last week, right in the middle of its school year. Today I was talking with a person who works for ECOT and feels there has to be a better solution than leaving students without a school. Kelly McCormick has been with ECOT for 10 years. She taught fourth grade, spent the bulk of her time as an instructional supervisor, and then became a student support specialist, all from her home. It's been hard for her to see complaints about the closing. ECOT closed, ECOT left us in the dark, ECOT did this to us. ECOT's not, you know, they shut down our computers, and those things simply aren't true. Kelly has been in charge of tracking truancy, making sure students are online five hours a day, five days a week for education. ECOT is challenging how Ohio tallied student participation to determine the publicly funded e-school was overpaid. We had clean audits for 13 years. Um, all of a sudden, in March of one year, they said, oh, starting in August, you need to track the duration of how long each student was logged in. ECOT is fighting to reopen as the state is trying to recoup the money. It believes they owe close to $80 million. There's a showdown three weeks away in court. The decision we made, do we get to pay the money back or will ODE actually owe us money? When ECOT closed last week, nearly 3,000 seniors were close to graduating. Teachers Kelly is hopeful that a deal can be made to reopen so ECOT can finish the school year. And we were able to take students who were on the verge of giving up or on the verge of dropping out and give them a different option and give them hope um, and graduating. ECOT has graduated 22,000 students over the years. Right now, the 12,000 who were enrolled when it closed last week need to find a replacement school as quick as possible.